Good morning. Well, I had some very nice comments and feedback about a, uh, a video I did the other day with the um, trucker's hitch, simplified version. So I thought I'd do a couple more. And if people want more of this sort of thing, just say so. I can always oblige, I hope. I brought out my white cordage, so hopefully it can you know, sharp a bit better. And also black marker pin. Hopefully the contrast will help. And today I'm going to do a couple because they're both quite simple. I'm going to do a marlin spike and I'm going to do a timber hitch. Let's get on. Right, a bit awkward to film like this because I'm leaning over the camera. But I'll try and do it and keep my hands out of the way. If I just make a little loop, just like that, just crossed, not tied, anything like that. I hope that's focused. If I pinch it where it's crossed, lay it onto the line, and pull the line up through. That is basically how the timber hitch is formed. Now if I get my marker pen, hopefully that will show up. Dropping through there. And pull either end. There he is. Not going anywhere. Quite a simple undo. Pull your peg out, <laughs> marker pen in my case. Job done. Do it once more. It's crossed over. Pinch on the cross. Lay it flat on the line. Just pull the line up through. That's that's where your, your piece of wood, tent peg, whatever you're trying to secure, goes. So let's pop them in there. Pull both ends. There we go. Right, I'll fix it to a tree so uh, you can sort of see an application for it, although there's many uses. Right, I'm going to do it slightly different this time. Just because it's easier in this application. What I'm going to do, I'll give myself the right distance away so you can see it, is I'm literally just going to stick a loop in the line. Nothing fancy, it's just a loop. Now, I'll pass the end around the tree take my line through the loop there's your marlin spike simple as that loop pull the line through it I'll drop the good old marker pin in there instead of my finger fastened. It's not going nowhere. Again, really easy to undo. Pull your spike, whatever you're using, out. As you see, <laughs> it just falls off. Simple as that. Just any old loop in the end of your line. Pass it around your tree. I've just stuck two fingers through there, grabbed the line, pulled it towards me. Put your peg through the hole. Just like that. Right, the other one I'm going to do is the timber hitch. Again, 
really really simple end your cord under whatever you want to secure I'm just going to go around the line simple as that and before pulling it tight we go wrapping around I want to go around at least three times four or five is better the more times you do it the stronger it's going to be but there's no actual knot as such you know you haven't tightened it off anyway but if I get either end wash it like that that won't slip you can really really pull on that and the more you pull on it of course the more it bites down onto the tree pinching the twisted bit and although it's on there really tight if you just take the pressure off loosen him up and of course you can get that off quite simple do it once more just go underneath under your line and back up and then just wrap him round so three times will work three or four five if it's something really big and heavy just go a little bit off the wood there pull him towards you that's never going to go anywhere no matter how tight you make it easy undone because it's not really a a knot in the traditional sense you know that you pull and it tightens up on itself it's just gripping right let's put both of them into a practical application right practical application time this big lump of wood let's say I want to take it to my camp cut it up firewood but it's too big to carry shall we say so let's stick a timber hitch on there round under back up Round one, round two, round three, uh, round four. Four should do this one, I think. It's not too big. That's fixed him on. Now, what to do with my marker pen? Right, I'm back with my marker pen. Now I'm going to do this up close so you can see the two, uh, but obviously I'll do it with a longer line normally. In the loop, lay it on the line, pull the line up, put my toggle, whatever, in. And I only need to pull one end this time because the other end's already fastened. a toggle but as well as a toggle it's now a handle there we go a couple of knots and a practical application now I'm going to stick these back in here Bought the waterproof bag today because it's not exactly brilliant out here. I'm off home before we get any more rain. See you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.